What's up YouTube? This is your boy Hercules and you're back to another epic video. Today we're gonna be learning oh, we're gonna be learning how to know the difference between OG Unlimited, recent reprints, and of course first editions. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Let's get it. Here we have my friend Geese's YouTube channel. Uh, he's such a great dude. He has so much knowledge when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! And I've been blessed enough to have some conversations with him about Yu-Gi-Oh! and about life in general. So uh, He made a video a long time ago, actually, that I've watched a long time ago as well, that um, it helped me a lot. And this, I know that it's going to help a lot of you guys as well. So that's why I think it's a perfect video to react to or to watch with you guys, however you want to call that, what we're going to do right now. So this video is going to help you not to be overspending on cards that are like, any seller can be like OG Unlimited or you know and it's like a 2017 reprint and you just end up paying double, triple that what it is. Alright, let's get it. Alright, so you get a lot of messages about reprints. So I'm gonna walk you guys through Boy Geezy Geezy or Jeezy. PSA. So some caveats here. Um, I'm not living in my house right now. I'm living with my wife and I'm like three days from going to Korea. So um, I, I don't have this like awesome. Also something that um, I have to mention that um, he is actually in the military. And uh, so thank you for your service, first of all. So that's another thing that I actually I am so amazed of the amount of people that are into Yu-Gi-Oh! And he's a hardcore Yu-Gi-Oh! enthusiast. Like he collects, his collection is amazing. And he was in the military, or he is in the military actually by, by this time right now as you are watching this video. And uh, that's just something amazing. You see, you are insane, bro. Like in a good way, I mean, um, so much respect for you, bro. Set up, I'm just sitting here in my kitchen and I'm just going to show you guys what I have in order to just get this information out. Now, this is just going to be LOB. Okay, I don't have. He said that this is just LOB and this reminds me to also mention. I'm sorry if I'm stopping too many times, but uh, we're also going to go through uh, how to know the difference between OG, Unlimited, Unlimited, recent reprints, and first edition from Metal Raiders and whatever other videos he's made. I really want to go through his channel and just learn even more, even deeper with you guys. So, uh, so yeah, just to help each other out, you feel me? All the time. I'm not going to make like a five hour um, YouTube video to show you guys all of the reprints that Konami has made. Okay, so um, I'm going to talk a little bit about some things along the way. Um, and if if you want to talk in the comments to me about it, I'm fine with that. You can also DM me on Instagram. I'm in like a bunch of discords. So he will like, answer you. He will answer all your questions. questions. He's amazing, bro. In order to make this as, as uh, short and sweet as possible, like I'm going to break all of this up. So uh, I'm going to walk you guys through the intro. I'm not going to read any of these slides, okay? I might talk about a couple of things, but if you want to read the slide, you have to pause the video. Okay? okay. I, I don't know how to do all this fancy YouTube shit where people like break out. You know, and you can click on. Like <laughs> you know, that's funny that he's saying this because uh, that's the main reason why I decided not to make a presentation myself with what I've learned so far. Because when it comes to these things, I'm I'm more of a learner, a visual learner. I I, am, I have problems like trying to explain things sometimes. Sometimes I make it even more complicated than what it is. So, uh, but this video, this like. This exact video was something that pretty much broke it down for me. And I was like, bro, because I understood everything. I was able to know the differences between OG Unlimited, just regular Unlimited, 2017 Unlimited, 2014 Unlimited, and all that kind of stuff. So it's crazy when you start thinking about how many reprints a card can have. And that actually affects the value of the card. So that's one of the things that I want to put out there. That knowledge that I want to share with you guys in this video, like I said, it's going to be perfect for that. So let's keep it going. Like a, a number and it takes you to where it's supposed to go. Like, I don't know how to do that. If you guys know how to do that, like DM me and I'll set it up so it can be like that. But I just want to get this information out before I go to Korea. And when was this video? Be... Okay. I'm going to show you guys the slides. All right. So it was so January 22nd. And I'm going to make the transition. 2021. Uh, All right, get ready for the infinite window. 
of her. Okay, this is the whole shebang, right? This is what I'm doing. This is like a magnum opus. It's not every card, so I'm gonna skim through. Uh, it says using a variety of techniques provide overlapping capabilities to graders and the research team to approximate Yu-Gi-Oh cards date of print, differentiating original copies from modern so reprints. I'm gonna wait like five seconds, and then I'm gonna keep going here. Okay. We have collectors. Okay, I'm gonna pause it, but I'm not gonna read the whole thing. We have sets from the classic period 2002 and 2004. They were printed in 2003, 2004, 2005, 2007, 2010, and 2020. Like, it's talking the period of time from 2010 and 2020, which is 10 years reprinting. Like, you know, a lot of reprints during that period of time. And uh, we have 2003 reprints originated in 2003 BPT tents and exhibit the word spell in place of magic. Back in the day, we didn't have spell cards. They were magic cards. So uh, these cards actually, uh, so Konami actually decided to change the name magic to spell cards because of the problem going on with Magic the Gathering. You know what I'm saying? They were just trying to avoid lawsuits and all this. So uh, that's why when you see the word magic card, but it doesn't say first edition, that's when you know this is an OG unlimited. Like that's OG. It can't get any, o any more OG unlimited than that. And we also have 2004, 2005. I already started to show the cards. So 2004 and 2005 were only, I believe this is only coming in the, uh, this is the master collection, right? Uh, where you only you can only find the L O B E N M R D E N P S V E N. That means that it was from 2004 to 2005. Even if it's unlimited, I mean, they, I think they are unlimited. It wasn't first edition, of course, it wasn't. I just got that. 2007 varieties typically have the E N designation, but not all do. Dark Crisis E N was only released in European glass special edition boxes and all north american boxes only carry the dcr xxx okay so i guess en was basically uh european as well back in the day 2007 all right again if you want to read these you don't have to pause the video Okay, so I'm going to talk through some packs. Okay, we all know what first edition is, right? So this is not about first edition. This is only unlimited. We all know first edition. Right? Yeah, we all know that. The original we all know that first edition packs have the first edition stamp on them. So keep that in mind. Unlimited release. I'm going to show you guys. All right, the barcode at the bottom. This is where you're going to find the, the code for LOB. This is just LOB. I didn't put anything in here about MRD packs or whatever. This is an example of how you tell original packs from reprinted packs across the 20 years that Yu-Gi-Oh! has been out. This is just an example, okay? So, Hobby Retail. This is the first reprinting. These were boxes that were made, not tins. And then these are the tins. You can tell that the Upper Deck logo here, you guys see this Upper Deck logo? I'm going to zoom in on it. See this upper deck logo here? It changes, right? Look at that. The good old upper deck, upper deck bro. 2003. Red banner, US and Canada. And the alignment is different. Look, these are the tin packs, okay? These are packs that have cards that say spell in them. All right, I'm gonna move on. All right, master collection, right? I'm gonna zoom in on here for you. We got master collection packs. That was 2004. L80 and master collection all right there you go got it those are the packs where you can get the uh en cards okay. binder set this is the legendary collection binder red banner right no date that's 2010 Edition. already isbn ean okay now for the game boards it's different okay no red banner konami logo don't mind so you have 2014 and 2017. I believe those are the packs that you can okay. find this one at Walmart. 2014. You can't really see it. I know. I'm sorry. I think you can still find those at Walmart sometimes. They literally say it on it. No ISBN, no EAN, just a product code. Okay. Done with that. 
Okay, we're going to skip a few things here. Card character says, we're going to talk a little bit about this. Let me get rid of this while I'm working. All right. I'm not going to read this to you. When I talk about emboss, I talk about the depth of the name. Okay? You see this right here? Look, this even expands. Look at that. Wow. It's so cool. Look at that. All right. See it? E-N? Yep. All right. Look at that emboss change, right? Look at mm -hmm. that. That's huge. That name is like super engraved on there. The colors are different and everything. You see that? Before I watched this video, the only thing that I was able to, you know, know the difference from OG Unlimited and Unlimited was actually just the color of the card. Um, make sure that the Eye of Anubis doesn't have any stars on it. And, um, but the way that the letters are actually, you know, changing as they get reprinted, that's actually pretty interesting to me. Like, Do it's that. insane. All the that's details that you have right? to keep in mind. Science and art. Ooh, look at this sexy slide, right? Okay, <laughs> not going to read this to you. Basically, there are things that you can measure, and then there are things that are subjective. Things that are objective are scientific. Things that are subjective are art, all right? There's a science and an art to everything. You can look at the errata. You can look at the color, the saturation level, all right? Some things are measurable. Some things are not, okay? Science is better. We like science. If we can't use science, we use art. Okay, so magic and spell. Most of you pretty much know this, but I'm going to show you guys this. Okay, look, magic, spell. Mm -hmm. Plus, these have the same effects, right? Look at that same effect. Same spacing, everything. This is from 2003. This is from 2002. Okay. There you go. All right. Um, this is a slide. You can read this slide. This is an example of how to tell. This is another example of how to tell. Okay. There are some challenges with using the names. If the names are engraved, if the names are printed, um, it's a little easier to tell. Here's your Eye of Anubis. There you go. Those are the right? stars that we're just talking about. Eye of Anubis, right? 2013. Okay. That's when they started making uh, those. Okay. Continued. Yep. Okay. Can you figure this out? Can you? Wow. Look at the out? colors. Yeah. Wow. All right. There There's this one, the magic one. The first there edition looks so faded, though. And that one, of course, that's uh, 2017 or 2013. Okay. Peep, peep that. Here's, like, that's the most important one to me, at least, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Cool. That's when I was I able to, like, like, Gizzy Deadass saved my life, bro. Like, I was about to pay so much money for an OG Unlimited PSA 9 Blue Eyes White Dragon. I started doing some research how to how to know the difference between these cards. And uh, I found his video, this video that I'm just watching right now. And, bro, I ended up, like, pretty much declining i said hey i'm sorry but i can't make the deal anymore i don't feel like comfortable taking it but i didn't really like you know i wasn't aggressive but i was like honestly uh your card is not og unlimited and i explained to him why the differences that we're about to go through right now in this video where i'm just telling you that experience that i had and uh he took it nicely and he was like no it's all good bro but thank you for sh like sharing that knowledge with me now i'm gonna make sure to tell everybody that this is now OG Unlimited. Hopefully he, you know, kept his word and he actually did that. But then later on, I actually found someone selling a PSA 9 Blue Eyes White Dragon LOB that it was an actual OG Unlimited, that it was such a good price as well that I was like, mm, let's do it. And now it's in my collection. Answer to that question. Let's keep watching this. Check this out. Wow, there are stars right there in the picture. Mm -hmm. One, two, so that's a recent reprint. Okay. There's no way this card was made in 2002. Now there you go. Specific. Okay, so it has to be from 2013 uh, yeah, up to date. The releases. Trihorn. Okay. You get the first edition, right? The first Any 2002. Any effect that is exactly the same as the first edition is usually... It's just far original. from voter. But in the case of LLB, it is original. Okay. See this? Far from the border. See that space there? I'm going to zoom in on it really, really big. See that space there? Yeah, okay. Okay. It's far from border. We have 2004 being EN. Look at that, dude. 
Look at that space. That yeah, space and there's gone. basically none, like non-existent whatsoever. Like, so the little thing barely fits in there. That's how you know when a trihorn dragon. It's OG Unlimited, which is this part right here, far from border. We have 2004, which is has it has it's gonna have the EN. And again, when you zoom in on this first edition, same thing. Yeah, Sorry. you can you can tell. Uh, same thing. Zoom in all the way, it fits, right? True. Same spacing. But for 2010, that's when it changes. Far from the border, far from the border. This this is not a, a linguistic pun. I don't literally mean that the the letter the word from is far from the border. I, the words are far from the border. Here we go. This is the most same important thing. one. Destruction and awesome. So. Of course, 2002 first edition is going to have the first edition stamp. Uh, he's telling us that 2002 original, which is the OG unlimited printings, are going to have a period location. As you can see, the period in the text is going to be pretty much aligned right crossing, I mean, crossing right in between the words few and have. And uh, it's also far from the border as well, as you can see to, all the way to the right. We have the 2004 reprints that it's going to have the EN right next to LOB. And 2010 Legendary Collection is going to have, uh, it's going to, the period location is going to be aligning with the letter H from the word have. And it's going to be close to the border as well, to the right, as you can see right here in, G in GC's uh, video right here. And uh, 2013, 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 that we are currently in, uh, it's pretty much going to have the stars in the, uh, on the eye of Anubis. So uh, keep that in mind as well. Awesome. See that? See the spacing there? See the spacing here? These now we're going to see more in depth. On what the we, there right you go. There. And look, you can actually align this period here, right? If we just it over so it's perfectly spaced this one is in between few and have and this one is touching have okay there you go see how that works that is so interesting bro like little details like this is what makes a difference okay first edition of course is going to be expensive OG Unlimited is expensive still but not as much as a regular reprint like a recent normally try and use this bracket or LOB um, but I couldn't do that. Okay, so a little bit about the emboss. Because the, the name is printed, um, it, it's normally in this spot every time. Now, if you can't get this to work or you don't feel like this is, you know, the best way for you to do it, but look, take a look at what I'm doing here. That name for the original is really close to the actual um, type, um, the attribute, sorry. That is um, wild, it's bro. Further from it. Okay. That is just wild to me. And location. Uh, and those location. small details okay. that you have this to keep in mind you for you to like to get confused. So make sure that the eye of Anubis. You really have star. to make sure that the foiling is right. Okay. You really have to analyze those cards. Bracket. See, I use the bracket. If you can use the, the bracket, OG use the bracket. Dark magician. Right. Bracket location. Perfect with D. Right. Perfect. Uh, okay, it's going with the D. Lines up with D. Oh wow, it doesn't line up with D. Huh. And it's just by a, okay. like, such a tiny okay. difference, bro. Name, that is right? why. change, you see that emboss change, you might be like, oh, that looks the same as this. It does not look the same, dude. Trust me. It doesn't. It's not, it's not even close. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's a difference. It's huge. The difference That's is true. huge in person. Okay. Moving on. We got the guy at the first Far night. The Close to the border. His, 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 his. You can also use the period alignment. Okay. Period aligns with N. Period aligns with A. Big deal. Okay. Celtic Guardian, same thing. Okay. With, with, proximity to the border. Period, period aligns location. with W. Period aligns just before W, like on the very cusp of it. Okay. Huh. Thank you. Very interesting. Right. If you have to pause the video, pause the video to look at these. Okay. Yeah, you, was... you guys feel free to pause the video as I go through because um, 
yeah, he's mentioning a lot of interesting stuff. But um, but I'm not gonna stop the video every time just to explain a lot of things. He's actually explaining it pretty well, in my opinion. If you guys need another video, please let me know in the comments, and I gladly take the time. Right now, this is just a quick walkthrough, and maybe you guys can learn something from this video specifically. And shout out to Gisi for making this video, bro, because that's amazing. That's a lot of knowledge just spinning out there. Challenging ones that I had to do. All right, so dark hole. It's a hard. Cards. Magic cards have four printings, not three, because there's a tin printing. So this, like, I know that this card is a tin print, because I know people who have one. And I know that this card is a, a legendary collection print because of the surface. Okay, so we know that this is original because this is a magic card. So mm -hmm. we, we made it that far. That's the easy part. We know that this is EN because it says fucking EN. Look at that. All right, it says L O B E N zero five two. So okay. that's two thousand four. So that's the easy part. The hard part is taking this and differentiating with this. This yeah. is the hard part. So let's look. What is? Because mind you, two thousand ten didn't have the stars yet. So you really have to make sure that you know these details from two thousand three and two thousand ten because they're pretty similar. So I had to take the entire card, and I had to align it straight down E aligns that way and it aligns this way would you look okay. at that the difference is like extremely small and it's not like you're going to take a straight edge to these cards I'm sorry. that is wild so it's going to be challenging to actually now my question is i wonder if konami actually knew that they were making these details different you know what i'm saying like i don't know if it was intentional or not but uh if it was they're smart if it wasn't intentional then yeah absolutely tell the difference between these two which is just amazing is look at the eye of anubis right in cases like this the eye of anubis if there are stars in it it's a reprint also look at the surfaces. The surface for the tin prints it's are different, just like yeah. the original prints. They are very flat surfaces. Hmm. <coughs> the legendary collection reprints have like these bumpy, irregular surfaces. The problem here is that the the binder collection reprints are not like that. The binder collection reprints have a flat surface and they don't have stars on the eye of Anubis. So not every card that has a flat surface and no stars in the eye of Anubis is going to be a tin print. So there's going to be some overlap and a lot of error here. Um, I, I ad advise people to be like as vigilant as possible with these if they're really trying to get like a 2003 That's a hard print. one, yeah. Obviously, if you want an original, original print, like it's easy. It's just got to say magic. Um, beyond that, you know, there is no difference. There are magic cards from 2003, so not every magic card is from 2002, but there's no way to tell the difference between the ones from 03 and the ones from 02. Just like, you know, I showed you guys all the way at the beginning. These 2003 packs, same magic in them. The cards are indiscernible from 2002 cards. It's not possible to tell the difference. Some people say that they can tell the difference, but I think they're lying. I don't think that's fucking bullshit. Right, Geeky. I can't explain it to you. Like, I cannot explain it. 2002, 2003, so 2004, 2010. That they can tell the difference, but I really just think that they're making it up. Um, okay, so Raigeki, same problem, uh, but the effect changes. So we know mm -hmm. that because the effect changes... It's the wording. You know, the For this one, is the wording, I know. The tin releases always have the same effect as the original cards. Just talking about Legend of Blue Eyes. The tin prints have the same effect as the original card because the errata had not been introduced into the card game by 2003. So, when you remove the original effect, destroys all of your opponent's monsters on the field. The tin print destroys all of your opponent's monsters on the field. Okay, this is only an objectively 2003 print if the Legendary Collection has a different effect, which it does destroy all monsters on your opponent's side of the field. Has to destroy right. all of your so, opponent's I mean, monsters yes, on the field. Essentially the same, but this is from a tin, and this is a reprint. We don't even have to look at the um, foiling. We don't have to look for stars in the eye of Anubis. If it says an effect that is not the same as the magic card effect or the first edition effect, then it's a reprint. It has to be. Arata was not introduced into the game in 2002 and 2003. Okay, and again, I think. 
destroys. Yeah, so this, these are destroys. This is destroy, and this is destroys. All monsters on your opponents destroys all monsters. Red eyes. Okay, the easiest way to Red do this eyes, is to black see dragon. If it aligns with the attack. If it aligns with the two, it's original. If it aligns with the four, it's a reprint. Okay, there are other ways to do it. You can also look that at the is wild, bro. That's crazy. And I'm gonna show you M boss. Look at that M boss right there. See that yep. name right there? Look at this. Huge difference. Legs. Here we go with Exodia Limbs. These are very important because these are some of the most expensive cards when it comes to LOB. So please pay attention to this part. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts, by the way. Exodia Pieces. This. 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 OG Unlimited has the location. No items of Anubis on it. 2004 it has the EN. Okay. 2010 so we have the, the thing, that it's close so to the border. The, 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 it's the, all about the text the block. See how close it is to the border. You can actually see this pretty well. Yeah, you can tell like, like right away. Touching the border. Okay. You got the right um, arm. Same problem. Same thing. I had to use the border. It's breaks, pretty much the same thing. Breaks. 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 Nice. The, the left arm, but it's gonna be the same problem. The location of the words, right. and with the Exodia. head, Exodia. it's the text. Check okay. that out. Left leg, left arm. Right, it says all this craziness. Right Down here, it's just short. It's shorter. It's a little bit longer. It's got a fourth line. It says you win the duel. Mm -hmm. hard. It's really not hard at all. But really, you have to pay attention. Last Keep those one. things in the mind. One I, this was the hardest. One and this is I true. Had. Like this was the hardest too. Like this, it's the same story. Like I was so close to purchasing a card, a uh, guy, the Dragon Champion, that it was supposed to be OG Unlimited, but it wasn't. And uh, but like after that, I ended up finding one that it was a PSA eight OG Unlimited guy, the Dragon Champion. Uh, for a good price as well, and uh, it was an OG Unlimited, and the guy didn't know that it was an OG Unlimited. He only he he sold he sold it to me as a reprint, and then I'm like, "Yo, bro, this is OG Unlimited." So I sent him some money after that because it was way more expensive than uh, whatever he sold it to me for. Okay, so this trick may not work across the board, and I'm say that because anything that's any name that's embossed or engraved into the card Can i just did it by aligning the letters so i don't know that the alignment for this like this alignment trick is going to always work for you because the alignment may change based on where the actual name is printed on the card okay so that's true but it, it works so most the of the time is the same for sure if you use the bracket it lines up the same and you can see that so the way that I had to do it was to measure the N at the end. With the E. You can see that this one is further from the attribute, and this one is closer to the attribute. This name is longer. Maybe. Maybe it's just the placement. I don't know. Okay. This is not a good way to do that. But secret rares are visibly different. And you can see this, right, even in this picture. The EN releases are the same foiling as the originals, so mostly. You can see that the foiling is kind of the same, but if you look at the difference here, that foiling is very different. Okay, this came from a game board edition because the yeah. binders don't look this much different, but uh, they do. All I can say that when it comes to uh, Gaia the Dragon Champion, just try to uh, pretty much make the alignments, make sure that it's the worth N from champion is aligning pretty much that like he says right here intersects f if it does that it's for sure an og unlimited but if it doesn't if it's after the f then it is a reprint that's the way i see it that's the way i did it it worked for me i i had a lot of people look to the card and uh, they gave me their advice as well, and everybody agreed that it was an OG Unlimited, so I was pretty happy about the pickup. It's different, but not this much different. So, you know, if you're concerned that you have a reprint, attempt to measure the distance from the border. Uh, if you're concerned about that, look for stars in the Eye of Anubis. If you're concerned still, then... The Eye of Anubis, just the, give it away. Like, That's straight-up reprint. Like, Gaia's color, 
the color to right. yeah as you can see like the color from the 2010 reprint from the 2002 OG Unlimited it's different it's totally different you can't tell me do that let me uh bring it back here guys it's working okay Please, but Gizzy, please excuse like the bright light that's constantly in my face. I thank you for sharing the knowledge with us, here, brother. We appreciate you. So what I'm I'm hoping that this does is help you guys who have a lot of issues with this stuff. So I will do one for each set. This is what I'm sending to PSA. So this is this is a challenge for even for us, you know, collectors. Um, so it's definitely a challenge for PSA. Please be patient. Okay, I can't can't employ you enough to be like patient with PSA. If you're, if you're frustrated, um, like I'm frustrated. Okay. The PSA is frustrated. You know, we're all frustrated about this. Um, the, the, I lay blame on, on Konami and I, I am, I blame Konami, but I also blame like people who want to collect unlimited. So in order to collect unlimited, you need to know what you're doing. Unlimited exactly. It's literally an unlimited prone. You cannot sue Konami because they printed unlimited because it's literally unlimited. It the says it, that's the meaning of the word Konami can unlimited. Print this infinitely. I mean, exactly. They could do it in Pokemon, I think, if they wanted to, but they will never do that, or they at least haven't done that. Konami is doing it. They They've pretty much did with the unlimited base set and um, the reprinting, there are boxes vivid voltage and stuff nowadays. They, the boxes don't even say MC. The boxes just have a retail code on them. So you would never know. God, this light is killing me. Let me see if I can scoot over a little bit here. Okay, so this is not helping. Um, I'm, I'm going to do right here. So look, you know, please know what you're doing. Do not blame PSA because you bought a card and it's not from 2002. You know, it, it's it's difficult to do this. This these cards have been have been out there since 2010. So. You know, it's only I, 12 I, years I from now, bro. Again, in 2010. So when I came back in 2011, like, you know, this stuff was already out there. Um, please, please, please know what the hell you're doing. If you have any questions, you can. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And like I said, we're going to keep going through these videos that Gizzy made for us. Uh, we're going to be able to go through Meta Raiders. We're going to go through Magic Ruler and Spell Ruler. Pharaoh's Servant as well. PSV, the Google. Oh, gee. And um, he has videos for the Seal Collection, Seal Guide Collections as well. We can go through those if you guys want. We got the Yu-Gi-Oh! Collector's Reprint Guide for Labyrinth of Nightmare. Uh, we got the Seal Guide series, Meta Raiders. So it's a lot of uh, content that we can go through. Gisi, again, thank you so much for making this kind of content. Uh, it's definitely going to be helping a lot. And if you guys just want to go ahead and check the videos on his channel, here it is. Subscribe to his channel. He's always pretty much every single video or everything that he's sharing, pretty much it's a lot of uh, pretty much helps you a lot when it comes to collecting Yu-Gi-Oh! And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've learned something today from this video that we just watched. Gizzy, again, thank you so much for making these videos for us. Um, I really love going through them whenever I have a doubt, whenever I have a question. And uh, I know that you told me that I can reach out to you whenever I want, and I will. But um, so far, these videos have been helping me a lot, so I really want to thank you for that. And guys, again, if, you're gonna, if you want to watch his videos, go ahead. His channel is there for free. And uh, but I definitely want to go through these videos with you guys as well. So if that's something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments. If you're not interested in that, then we go back to the pack breaks and all that stuff, the which we're gonna be doing all the time as well. But this is a video that I really wanted to share with you all because it really helped me a lot when it came to um, knowing the difference between OG Unlimited for Blue Eyes White Dragon and uh, you know, recent reprints and whatnot so uh that's definitely something that helped me and if it helped me i'm sure that it's gonna help a lot of you guys so so yeah that's gonna be it for the video i'll catch you guys later please stay kind please stay grateful please stay motivated and hydrated i'll catch you guys later peace